made a video on him and he said he started scamming when he was about what 15 years old all over you when you first started doing stuff like this like 15. your thoughts what <laughs> what please <laughs> help man help! to this and see who is the dumb ass of today so let's get it all right so on today's list of adonis we have punch made dev he's basically the dumb ass of the day well for the week and for the month might as well say it because the reason why about that is because he's supposed to have did a scam i mean we hear about this all the time from youtubers and everything like that they always pulling out scams and stuff whether i know anything about it or not whether they scam it, i do not know i don't deal with them i don't side with them or anything like that i wouldn't know you know but this dude is going to sit up there and have the nerve to post it on social media. So here we are at my table and at Adonis's table. We're talking about his little dumb ass. So let's get it. All right, so boom. I can't believe this story just came across my desk because I had no clue who this individual just so happened to be. I don't know neither. 16 minutes ago when a couple of my subscribers happened to send me this on Twitter. There's a guy out there by the name of Punch Made Dev. I don't know if he's a rapper, don't know if he's an entertainer. I musician, know, right? Whatever the case may be, maybe YouTube or whatever it is, right? He had a video that he posted titled Wire Fraud Tutorial where evidently he went oh my God. and showcased how you can scam individuals with seemingly no effort. Listen up, I'm finna show y'all how to hit a bank. Just pay attention, this is a quick way to jug in any state. First you wanna get a bank lock from a trusted site. Hey, the hell? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. This gotta be the damnedest thing I've ever heard. This man is willfully disclosing the blueprint on how to scam. And he's been doing this seemingly for what maybe a decade or so i don't know how old this gentleman i don't know how long he's been doing G made a video on him and he said he started scamming when he was about what 15 years old all over you when you first started doing stuff like this like 15 your thoughts what <laughs> what please <laughs> help man help! i'm at a loss for words in fact i feel as if i'm an accessory to a crime just watching these just videos. watching it yeah as if i partook in the scam and i feel guilty watching this in fact i haven't felt this bad since watching wcw bash at the beach 2000 well don't let me tell you about it there's an episode on dark side of the ring tonight and now a word from our uh. sponsors pro wrestling fans dark side of the ring season four has been some of the most entertaining captivating stories of the entire series but the momentum is not slowing down at all because this week's latest episode has one of the most important stories in wrestling okay history. Program. Shameless plug. I All right. Resist, but nevertheless, this punch <laughs> man dev character, whether legitimate or not, one's got to admire the confidence, despite the fact that, for all intents and purposes, this is a terrible. Now, the thing about it is, this, he got a hell of a lot of confidence to sit up there and do this. I do not know why in the world would make him or possess him to do this. Like, this doesn't even make any sense. It's just like you sitting up here telling somebody that you went and robbed the bank which is pretty much what he's doing right now but basically robbing individuals i don't know how he did it but either way it's like you tattletaling on yourself for no reason for what i don't know terrible human being you out here just scamming publicly boastfully in front of the entire world and have exactly no qualms about it because it's one thing to be a scammer it's another thing to be a scammer and allow yourself or willfully participate in a public video interview when you take a youtube you know journalist if you will on mm. a day tour of you scamming and then it's another thing a third thing to make a music video tutorial gotta change the location into their home 
For that, you're gonna need an RDP server. It should come with their IP. You gotta plug it in the server. I beg your pardon? What? I don't know what a fraction of you guys may say. Well, you know, considering that Punch Man Dev did make a very good point that it's not the actual person he's taking money from, it's the banks. Because the banks are the ones who's gonna have to pay them back anywhere. They're gonna get their money back, right? That's not always the case. Have no. you met somebody who's been scammed? Like, it's nice in theory if you look across the internet, you've never interacted with an individual who's been scammed, and somebody just says, yeah, you know, the bank will just wow. give their money back after it's verified that they didn't actually spend this money. It takes some time. It's yes, not it always, takes some time. Oh, you get scammed on Monday, you put in, you know, the complaint on that Monday evening and or Tuesday, Wednesday, and say, hey, this transaction wasn't mine, and they send you your money by next, you know, Monday. Oh, no. Sometimes no. it can take months. It can Some take months. Years. Yes. Sometimes yes. people don't even get their money back. You understand? Scamming serious out here, bro. There's a reason why I constantly tell people, stop getting scammed. Because... It may seem as if, well, you did no wrongdoing, therefore, because Man. it was somebody else who had uh, dirt on their hands, you should. I don't care what anybody say. You scamming somebody, you doing wrong regardless. Because, like I said, it's not a legitimate transaction. You're basically just telling somebody that you're doing this and doing that. But when actuality, you're not really doing it but you're getting the same outcome from it. So it's still wrong, regardless. I don't care how you slice it or dice it, it's still wrong. You should receive what was rightfully yours. Oh no, oh no, it's not always operating that way. So this gentleman, despite how entertaining and charismatic and captivating that- he I don't care how entertaining he is, he- Still a scammer. It's still a scam. Fact, he can mess around and scam me if he don't like what it is that I'm saying right now. But one way or another, fam, you publicly on a press tour showcasing that you've been scamming for years. And mind you, his whole team, he said himself, ain't nobody working no regular job. His whole team, scammers. Does anyone in scammers. your team have a normal job? No. None of you guys do nine to fives? Yeah, no. Why would they? It's free money. I mean. I am having a very bad day. Bro, you do you serious? I legit just got a notification from Twitter that apparently he had tried to purchase a television from Walmart with Aiden Ross's information while live. I saw that with one. Aiden Ross. So you're telling I saw this mess earlier. I didn't know if it was like a fake thing or what. I saw it earlier. I think it was I think it was yesterday, earlier yesterday. I think when when I was working. I seen it. Tell me right now, where did you get that money from? Am I out of my PayPal? Um, something like that. Walking into Walmart right now. If you this move, this dude dumbass. Show. No fucking way that works, bro. Ha! Are you kidding me? Pick it up. What are you doing? Sometimes keeping it real can go horribly wrong. Your mic, your mic, we, nobody can hear you. Hey. Yo, what happened? I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to call you back. Really? Yeah, hold on. Switch to Verizon and get iPhone 4 Man. on us with my plan. Act now. It's your this dude, at, he doing when dumb a shit. When to Trollinger Law, we are as invested in their success as they are. Call the authorities! Nah. I know he ain't. We are the police. We are the police. Man, come on, man. The police of Haiti. Hey, Shut him in the jail. jail. You go to jail, you son of a bitch. All right, all right, hold on, man. You go to jail. A few <laughs> moments later. So I just fucking ran out of there and, and, and came home. And I guess somebody got my license plate like an hour or 30 later. Uh, the police pulled up. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And then they just like, like I didn't get booked or anything because there's no charge, but they just detained me and like took me in for questioning. Huh? I was waiting on my, Wait, I was waiting on my people to pick me up right now. Wait, so where are you at right now? The, uh, the jail. Yo! Being a native New Yorker, I know Man. countless individuals who had engaged in no way, yo. scamming. I know people who are probably still scamming 
right now. Former teammates, classmates, whatever the case may be. But this right here is next level scamming because if there's anybody who understands the educational space, right? Especially on Instagram. I can't believe YouTube, it. Whatever the case is, you give away your best information for free and then people will be willing to pay you to not only, you know, mentor them and coach them, they'll also pay you to get a step-by-step -step process as into how you can also not only mimic man, what it is that they do, but it don't do make exactly no sense, man. What it is it that doesn't they make do. no this sense. This man has not only a telegram, I'm pretty sure he probably got a mentorship or whatever the case is, because he out here promoting to join his stuff so he can teach you. Ain't this some shit? We did everything right, then it's gonna be a piece of cake. Now that the wire went through, listen up. The money's basically yours if you don't somehow fuck it up. How? Hold on, bro. Come on, man. How? Evidently, man's bought a big ass house behind scamming. Got a, a big ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got marble floors, five bedrooms upstairs. I got two bedrooms downstairs, a gym, movie theater upstairs, a pool in the backyard. Right. I have never. In this disgusting Man, me and neither. He has no plans to stop ever. How long do you plan on being this game? Forever. It's really, I don't really You're gonna that. be a grandpa scamming people? Yeah, I'm gonna be 70 years old, still walking in and out the bank. Why? How do you do that? How do you do that? And y'all know how I feel about people oversharing on social media because if I was a scammer, I would never. Willfully you would never share anything and let people know this is what I do for a living. This man's entire existence Bro. is against the law, but he boastfully goes on social media and instructs you not only how to do it, but he pretty much broadcasts the scamming lifestyle for the entire world to see. And he feels completely untouchable. If you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. And that very music Man. video, evidently today, got taken down from YouTube and they applied a warning to his channel. Hours later, re-uploaded the same video. Amazing. I can't even lie to you. I commend him on that because you know how many times I got videos removed on YouTube. I re-uploaded them shits as well. Unless it was, you know, from the past, then I no longer have that video, of course. But that's neither here nor there. I can admire that because I know what really? it feels like to get fucked over by YouTube. But he received an email from law enforcement because of a possible investigation. I won't go back to prison, really? but I can't take that abuse. Now again, this could all be fabrication. This could all be actual lies. This could all be a scam, if you will, in order to boost ratings and views on his channel or whatever it is that he got going on. And could be, by it all could means be. And all accounts, bravo, bravo. You've done a hell of a job because you were able to captivate the internet for weeks, months, years on end with this particular kind of behavior. But I am blown away because in the comment section, countless individuals, some have said, hey, he's got some legitimate, you know, uh, uh, claims to fame as it pertains to his methods of scamming because there's a number of those that just so happen to be legitimate. Others can be somewhat considered outdated, but one way or another, if in the event that he is 110% accurate in everything that he's been doing, y'all better watch out, bro. Y'all better protect yourselves. Y'all better make Man. sure you double check your car. Everything. Going into different particular kind of establishments. Don't bump into people make sure that whatever you're putting your you know cards into whether it be a gas station bank bodega 7-eleven whatever location may be you better make sure you check everywhere to make sure you're not getting scammed because this dude not only out there scamming to fund his lifestyle he probably still gonna be educating individuals how to do it as well because there's scamming exactly. been around since the birth of the nation the birth of the globe people have always scammed i'm pretty sure there were people back in the hieroglyphics days you thinking you reading you know something you're looking at the hieroglyphics like oh wait this is what what story was being told it was a scam they lied to you it was somebody else cavemen was scamming people for rocks and shit oh Oh, 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 <laughs> you stupid. Oh, oh. And now motherfuckers are sick. I promise you, scamming been around for an incredibly long time. Right? This ain't it the has. First scam, it has. It's gonna be the last scammer. But do not fall victim. Keep your eyes open. No, don't do don't it. Don't allow yourself to be scammed. Listen to what the lyrics have to say. 
listen to how he explains how individuals are being scammed you take that into your memory bank and you try to evolve avoid as many of these things as possible so you can protect yourself i don't want none of y'all motherfuckers to continue to get scammed remember last year when people kept getting scammed about this ps5 and xbox x situation people over oh. here getting whatsapp <laughs> messages talk about it was for me no you know how many people been scammed on the internet too many too Do many not get scammed go reach out to your elderly or special needs family members. i see why he's taking partaking in this video because that has happened i did not know that happened but when you're like doing, see, this is the thing. When you're like doing giveaways and stuff like that, and then you get a whole lot of, um, he got a large following. Like his, like his subscriber count is like well over 600K. Now, beforehand, when he, st he started doing giveaways like a while back, you get a whole lot of people looking at your videos, looking at your content. And then all of a sudden, people are saying that, oh, they get messages talking about, oh, you're a winner and all this other stuff and everything. It makes you feel bad about not doing any giveaways for those who are actually watching the content. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, you you got one, two, three, probably about five people. Ain't no telling how many people it is. They are up here scamming people you know left and right it doesn't make any sense at all because some people are sitting up here thinking that thinking that oh well you know let me run up in between this and see if i can run some interference and trick somebody into their winning a ps5 or a xbox one or whatever like that and so that mess is not cool man it's not cool at all like i don't I don't partake in none of that stuff. And when it gets to the point that I start doing like giveaways and everything like that, I'm going to make sure that somebody know that they have to get the messages straight from me or straight from the source about them winning and everything like that. If anything, I'm going to let them I'm gonna give them a straight up disclaimer. If it's any other messages besides from any of my social medias or anything special that I'm supposed to be running, trust me, it's it's a scam. And trust me, people are looking. They're looking for the easy way out, and they're trying to sit up and get people information or or stuff like that, and or trying to intercept the whole. You know, that's pretty much what they're doing: intercepting the whole, you know, giveaway and stuff like that. They'll jump in and be like, "Hey." I'm such and such, I'm Adonis, or I'm Bob, and you won, or whatever like that. They been and gave the money out to to whoever it is, Unknown X, or whoever it is, gave it to them. They sitting ahead thinking they won. Then the thing about it is, it's going to make your channel look bad, because they thinking that I, or Adonis, will probably sit up there, sent it out, but never they got the money but never sent it out and i'm like i've never talked to you before you know and you never known the person it's just it's just crazy that's the whole intercepting thing it's just this is crazy you can't just sit up here and just be don't fall victim to no scam man for real it's like it's crazy the whole the old saying you know if it seems like it's too good to be true then chances are it's probably it's too good members and or friends and let them know what the hell going on protect them as well dog because you got yes. people like this who professional scammers this is what they do for life all right protect yourself dog dude this already said he got a big ass house man's made a music video on how to scam the he got a telegram on how to scam they got an interview on how he scams and he out here roaming the streets with underlings nah ain't no way bro Listen, I'm gonna protect myself one way or another. Somebody's gonna die. You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit this up. Yeah, I, I I just can't. Not with no scam. <clears throat> if I'm fine. If I actually see there's a scam or whatever like that, it's gonna be on site. But yeah, I I can't deal with no scammer, yo, for real. That that I I don't 
I don't like a scammer. I don't like a thief. Especially when it's not here. It's not here robbing from people that actually are hard workers and stuff like that. Like that mess is not is not good at all, yo, for real. I don't care what anybody say. The way you slice it or dice it or anything like that is it's crazy.